Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with some faith, prayer, collaging type books to share with you. Now, I'm doing this video, it's thundering, and my husband's going to come in any minute because he was at the golf course, and I called him and said, are you coming home? <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> he was like, yeah, I think I'm going to come home. So <laughs> he has literally played with it doing this, so it just freaks me out. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple of these kind of artsy collage type, just no brain books. And I love these kinds of things. I'm turning these into prayer journals. I'm trying not to show you the pages I've written in. Um, I did see one that kind of popped up. But anyways, um, just simple little collages of art supplies, papers, stickers. Um, you can use whatever you have, washi. It's just fun. Just use your scraps. And you just get any kind of glue you like. Um, tape runner you can make it dimensional you can make it not this one I'm going to come back in and color with pencils and you know just do what you like and like these stickers are from the Dollar Tree I mean nothing expensive this is just when you're sitting there these are this is a whole thing from the Dollar Tree it is just when you're sitting there at night and if you've been going through a rough day or you're just tired, or for me, I've been in so much pain. I needed to do something, but it didn't need to require a lot of brain power. It just needed me to be able to take my mind off of the issue, no matter what your issues are, and do something. Just make something and get productive. And I put um, scripture in here and I will write scripture in here. And so this has been, the foundation has been laid that when we have to go on a trip here soon, I'm taking that with me. I'll take some colored pencils and pens and I will just write away in it. And this will be something I can take to journal. I also have Bibles that I have pre, you know, journaled in that need actual writing. I've done the, the sticker paper type stuff. And so that I'm going to take. This is from, and this was from a kit that comes like this that I've shared before. Um, I didn't use the journals in it, but I will. I used the supplies in it, and I loved it. And this was just a journal I think I picked up off of Amazon or, I don't know, top shelf somewhere. Anyways, and this is from the Dollar Tree. And look at what I did with a Dollar Tree. And this is from one of these kits, or two of them. And I just mix, mixed them all together with some additional stickers. But I just had fun. This is a great place to come back, journal, put pictures, whatever you'd like. I mean, this is a great one to take on our trip as we get ready, you know, make some trips here soon. So, um, and, and we are still in Florida as I'm filming this, but, um, and this one has an, an envelope that came in the kit. I put it together and then I filled it full of just all kinds of bits and pieces that came from the kits and or extras and so just journaling spots picture spots whatever you want to do you could put your memorabilia on the back here is a um kind of a one two three listing you could do it this way you could do it this way however you want to so i think that and i'll just put that back later i think that there are just some things we can do with inexpensive notebooks you can literally use like old calendars or you know flyer um like magazine type flyers another journaling envelope spot filled with goodies same kind of goodies and i just had fun i took two different kits and there's that one notepad this came with a notepad and that was in that last envelope but i just i had a great time just sitting there no muss, no fuss. I just had fun. I didn't use any paint because I was sitting watching TV. And look, I even threw on bits and pieces of, you know, washi that didn't hold up well. And so I added that and, you know, another one of those envelopes filled with, you know, more goodies to journal on. This is one of those things you can do at night when your husband says, hey, are you going to come in here? And you're like, of course I will. <laughs> of course I can. This is great for a trip. I can take that on a trip. Now, I don't like this cover, so let me show you what I got. I have two different things of, you can use any kind of scrapbook paper under the sun, but I also picked up 
Isn't that pretty? I think this was Walmart. Um, I thought this was such a pretty, wouldn't that make a nice pretty cover? It kind of fits it, but even more so, look what I found. I love this. It's vintage. These are both contact paper. I love these. I absolutely love these. So I cannot wait to play with those and try them out and because I will cover this before I go. Now, one thing I notice is these are not bound super well because they're just stapled. So I will find the center and I will come back in and I will just tie it with some pretty like DMC, um, whatever. I'm trying to find the center, wherever the center is. I will just come back in with even satin ribbon and you can tie it, lace ribbon, and it will hold together better, okay? So there's that one. And um, of course we have, this is a prayer planner that I love and you can work within a planner. You can use um, the happy planner. You can use the prayerful planner. You can use regular, just A5 planners. I love this. This is just, this is my work planner. I have, have yet to fill that out, but this is what I do for Jos Josephine's design and healthy living on him, healthy living for him on keto. And so, um, this is where I get all of that done, but you can easily turn this into a collage journal. Super easy. Now, um, I wanted to share with you a good friend of mine who has a wonderful channel. Her name is Georgetta Head, and I will try to leave that below. She has a wonderful ministry, and it is Journey. Oh, I just blanked out. I knew if I didn't write that out and have it right, I have it, but I didn't put it right in front of me because my husband's on his way home. I ran in here real quick. I do a Bible study with her and her ladies every Monday, and they, I just love these Christian women. I just love them. They so encourage me. And so she had us, and, and of course, I'm this is Tim Holtz, and you know I'm just putting one together my way. She's having us do a prayerful planner, but she wants us to write our prayers in here. So what I'm doing is I wrote out the scripture. She gave us different sections to build our prayer, our prayerful, what does she call it? She has a different name for it, but it's basically a prayer planner and where you're praying the word. And um, so I decided I'm going to write the word. I've written all of it. I still have two more sections to add because I, I missed them. And then this front one I'm going to cover. And then this will be the one that I will pray in. And then I have the opportunity to write that scripture again. And I use the tree of life, which is the kind of origins type it goes back to the hebrew greek arabic and it you know it, it go it it works from there in the um translation of scripture and so um some of these sections are called love faith adversity um forgiveness and she has a whole a whole series of videos she's doing on this on her channel so please go watch her channel she will give you on her website and i will put below her website um, the whole printout for this and then um, which it's great she gives you all the scriptures you can literally cut out the scripture and use them you don't have to write them if you don't want to and um, anyways and so and then um, she can talk you through her her way of doing it I just you know me I've got to swim upstream and do it a little bit differently but what I did was um, like here were notes we went on some of this in our Bible study so I stuck my notes in my sticky notes here and I stuck them in and then um, I just went through put my tabs on put my stickers I used my stickers are from um, oh Hobby Lobby their faith um, stickers and I just went through and this is just a little insert that helps you when you write a writing board and I just went through and just kind of lightly decorated every page um, that I thought I might use or might not you know you know I left a few blank and then I just set it up and the idea is I was gonna say I thought I had at least two pages there okay um, and, and if I were you I would set these up further apart I didn't know there would be additional sections. If I'd known that, I would have probably done more pages in between. And then every scripture could have had one page. But, and then I wouldn't need a second book. Does that make sense to write my prayers in? But I, I mean, you can write prayer in here. You cannot. It's however you want to do it. But um, there's thankful is one of the tabs. Um, these are such a lovely idea. So I have a part two that I will put the next two sections in. 
and then I will go back and have dedicated prayer. So I have printed out pictures of family, friends, ministries, etc. that I love to pray for, and um, that will come in here, and everybody, each person will get a, a sheet or two, and then I'll go from there. And this is just a dot grid, and I will, of course, like I said, we'll cover this one. These were already designed. I got those on Amazon, and, um, and Georgetta also has, in the fall, she'll start back up with her um, monthly Bible study. So if you want to listen to a woman of the Lord, teach God's word, um, I will put that down below. Um, we all love being together. This the sweetest women under the sun. And um, a majority of them are out of the Pennsylvania area. But, you know, they let this silly old Texan get on there. So it all works. But but um, they are just the most loving, kind group of women that you can be very real with and very honest with. And I love that. That means the world to me. I don't need to put on airs, and, and God bless the women that sometimes do that. I'm not saying everybody does that, but I'm just saying every now and then you get around one that might do that. And these women are real. They love the Lord. They serve the Lord passionately. Um, you've got seasoned Christians. You've got new Christians. You've just got the gamut. And we're small, but we're mighty, and it's a lovely opportunity. So I will put Georgetta's information below. I did want to show um, and point you guys towards her. Um, I'll be right there in a minute, honey. Um, the point you towards her ministry and point you towards her prayer journaling um, series on her channel. And I will list all that below because I love Georgetta and she's such a, a wonderful, wonderful Christian friend. And then lastly, of course, you can take our prayer journal, our faith journal that we've been working on. You can add a prayer section. You can add that in the back. You can pray the word. You can put in pictures of your family. You can continue in that, which we do a touch of that in here. These are just a bit more concentrated. And honestly, and this is for something else, but however you want to use it. And then lastly, um, these are absolutely more artsy fartsy collagey kind of stuff when I was really laid up um, when we first got here and I just had a blast doing this so I'll be back with a little bit more of this um, when I cover that or I can have you with me when I cover it however you guys want leave a message below I'm gonna leave this one kind of plain I like how the cover is on that now I have another prayer project with these two sets of cards from the Dollar Tree. I'm not going to do it today, but come back and we will put this together um, probably next week. I am super excited to share that with you guys. It is a dollar twenty-five each, so two twenty-five plus, and that's it. Uh, plus the ring to put it on, and that's I think you get six to eight depending on the size ring you get at the Dollar Tree for another dollar twenty-five. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I know it was fast. Um, if you want a more in-depth look at these, let me know. I can go slower. I can also put pictures out on my website or on um, Instagram, things like that. But it is nothing fancy. It is basic, basic collaging. Um, the kits provide everything. You just cut and pull together how you want it and decide how you want to use it. And I just think it is just so much fun. These kits are so inexpensive. They're like... $11, $12, I think, at the most, maybe $13, $14, depending on which ones you pick. And I did an opening of these on an Amazon share. So that's that. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this is something to say. It doesn't have to be just straight writing. You can add color. You can add dimension. You can add your own personality. Um, I personally love junk journaling, so I love this style, but I also love this style. I love working at a TN, keeping it simple, using simple stickers. Whatever it takes to get you in the Word and praying is the most important part of this. And um, most importantly, time in fellowship with Jesus, knowing Him, hearing Him speak in your heart and in your ears, hearing Him um, teach you, guide you. Um, just knowing him better and he knowing you. So, all right, friends, this is a quick faith journaling Friday. There's my sweet husband emptying the trash. And um, I'm going to let you go. I had no intention on staying too late today because of the weather. And I want to hurry and try to get this uploaded before tonight. But this gives you a whole different variety. I've also got a new faith journaling um, kind of artsy fartsy thing I'm going to be doing here soon. I'm super excited about it. Um, I'll be back with you on that. 
and um, I'll share with that with you as I get that going here in the next week or so. All right, friends, I pray your day, and of course, I'll be back with the prayer card project. Um, I pray today that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm trying to get better about your time and, and not keep you as long. Um, if you have any questions, list them below. If you want to share this with anyone, please feel free. Um, and, you know, like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. All right, friends. Most importantly, I love you. Well, I love you, but most importantly, Jesus loves you. He loves you so much more. Keep serving him well. I'll be talking to you soon. Love y'all. Bye.